Hi, my name is Phil Walker. I am a missionary here in Indonesia, spreading a love of God's Word. In these last seven weeks, we sure have enjoyed the Refresh program by Scripture Memory Fellowship, I and my family and friends of ours. And so now, inspired by my family that's already sang all the verses, and by uh, Charlene <coughs> and Laura, who quoted the verses, and Mary, who sang the verses, uh, and many of our friends throughout Indonesia that are participating in the Refresh program, inspired by them. Now I myself will uh, only quote the Refresh week one through seven, I cannot sing. So uh, these are the verses. I may make some mistakes, but Lord willing, uh, I'll get through them. Uh, first week is read God's word. Job uh, 23, verse 12. I have not departed from the commands of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. Job 23, verse 12. Matthew 4, 4. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4, 4. 1 Timothy 4, 13. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to preaching and to teaching. That's 1 Timothy 4.13, and that was week one, read God's word. Week two, eliminate distractions. Psalm 119, verse 63. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Psalm 119.37. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25 and 26. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Take, make level paths for your feet and take only ways that are firm. Proverbs 4, 25, and 26. Uh, that was week two, eliminate distractions. Now we have week three, fellowship with believers. Psalm 119, verse 63. I am a friend to all who fear you, to all who follow your precepts. Psalm 119, verse 63. Hebrews 10, 24, and 25. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Let's not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let's encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. That's Hebrews 10, 24, and 25. And then we have week four. Uh, remember to pray. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Then Jesus told them a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Luke 18 and verse 1. Ephesians 6, 18. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of requests, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert, and always keep on praying for all the saints. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. James uh, chapter 5, verse 16. Therefore confess your sins to each other, and pray for each other so you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. That was week 4, remember to pray. Now we have... Uh, Week 5, which is uh, Exalt the Lord. Week 5, Exalt the Lord, starts with Psalm 99, verse 5. Uh, exalt, exalt the Lord and worship at His footstool. Exalt the Lord our God, I've been told. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at His footstool. He is holy. Psalm 99, verse 5. Isaiah 25, verse 1. O Lord, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wondrous things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. And that's Isaiah 25, verse 1. And then we had uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 13, verse 15. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise, the, the fruit of lips that confess his name. And that is uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. And that was week five, exalt the Lord. Now we have week six, seek his face. Seek his face. Um, confirm that's correct. Week six, seek his face. First Chronicles 16, 11. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek the Lord in strength, seek his face always, or something like that. First Chronicles 16, 11. 
Psalm 34, 4 and 5. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. Psalm 34, 4 and 5. And finally, Hebrews 11, verse 6. And without faith it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists. And that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Hebrews 11, 6. Uh, that was uh, seek his face. And 7, hope in Christ. Romans 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you will overflow in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, verse 13, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. 1 Peter 1, 3, in the very last verse, is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Uh, Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Be self-controlled. Set your hope fully on the grace to be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. That's 1 Peter 1, 13 and week 7, Hope in Christ. Thank you so much, Scripture Money Fellowship, for this program, Refresh. We loved Songs of the Night. We loved Refresh. And we can't wait to see what you have next for us. Bye-bye.